Okay, hey guys, 6, 6 B, right? Doing awesome, I got my sidekick Rome here. We are gonna learn how to do the dry brush technique on your clay island. So the first thing you're gonna have, make sure that you uh, have your clay island painted all black. There's no white spots popping up. And you have your three primary colors along with a little bit of white if you wanna brighten something up. You also need a water cup halfway full. And I've got your two smaller brushes. And you also need some dry paper towels because it's dry brush. You're gonna have to make sure you have a dry brush. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm not even gonna worry about the water, but I'm gonna make some uh, ground. So I'm gonna create some green to paint on top of uh, this textured area, which is the crop area. So I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow. This is my color mixing palette. And a little bit of blue. And create as much as you want. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of dab my brush to dry it up a little bit. And I'm gonna just sweep over the black. I'm not looking to get tons and tons of paint on there. Now, let's say that's a little too dark and you wanna lighten it up. Add a little bit of white and it'll start to pop up a little bit. But you want the black that's in those crevices to kind of show up so you don't wanna cover them up. Let's do the same thing over here. Just sweeping the brush on top. And it brings out those textures. You guys see it? Now that's gonna dry a little darker. Uh, let's say I wanna do my, let's do another one. I've got the, this little wall. It's got this these little texture marks on it. I used a golf ball there. So I'm gonna wash my brush off and I can create another color. Let's do maybe a brown. Again, make sure your brush is really dry. So three colors that make brown. We've got red, blue, and yellow. And if it's too red, you might need to add a little bit more yellow or blue. Just to balance everything, depending on what kind of brown you want. It's pretty good. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of white to lighten it up, because I want a lighter brown. And then kind of dab your brush. You can use your paper towels to dab the brush as well. And then just sweep this right across. I might add a little bit more white to that to make it stand out. And again, you don't want to cover up all those texture marks. You just want to sweep it across, okay? And that's how you do the dry brush technique. You want to do it over all of your pieces. It dulls the color down, that black dulls the color down a little bit, and that's how, that's how you do it.